Hi, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by again. And if you're new, hi, my name is Tracy and welcome to my home here in Sussex, England. This week we're in the kitchen for another episode of my fall decorating and there's not going to be any money spent as usual. It's decorating on a budget. We're going to be shopping my home, shopping the garden and we're going to be styling from nature. Ooh, kitchen decorating. I love a bit of kitchen decorating. Well, let's face it, this is where we spend most of our time. So as I always do when I'm styling, I take out lots of the accessories so I can get in there and give everything a good clean. There are certain things that I'm not going to move because I love them where they are, such as the coffee station, the lamp that I recently did a makeover on, my basket of cones on top of the fridge freezer, and of course these pots on top of the two dressers. I like them there, so they're going to be staying. Now, as we're doing a bit of serious decorating and cleaning today, I've brought in the larger step ladders because these ceilings are almost 10 foot high and I'm not. I'm just diddly at just over five foot. So all the windows are going to get a good clean today, along with the mirrors and everything else. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you will know that this is not a pleasurable task for me. I really don't enjoy cleaning, never have done. However, I am sick of the sound of my own voice moaning and whining about it. So I've decided I'm having a change of approach. I am counting my blessings whilst I clean. I'm grateful for the house that I've got, the fact that I am physically strong and able to do this. So this is my new approach. Count my blessings as I clean and I come out with a really clean house and feeling quite happy and very grateful. Although I am wondering why I put such deep countertops in. Didn't really think that one through, did I? I am watched as always by my furry supervisor who just loves sitting in this chair. Now, on to the first spot of decorating. These garlands are from Hobby Lobby in Chicago. My son picked them up for me when he was out there back in the spring. In the summer decorating, I popped them into the chandelier and I just love them so much. I'm going to leave them, but I want to make them a little bit more season appropriate. So remember last week, I took down these big branches off the porch and then popped some oak up. These I've set to one side because I, well, I waste nothing. And I'm just actually gonna snip off little bits and add them. They're so lightweight, they're not putting any strain onto the fixture. And also they catch on the existing garland in there. So you don't need any glue or any fixings. So that's one branch completely used up and I've got another one still to go that's outside so I'll be using that in the coming weeks. Now nothing gets wasted here so what's left over gets snipped up and used for firewood. Now I've made a bit of a mess of the floor there so time to get little Henry out. This is a smaller sized one and I love using this one. It's so much easier on my hands. What am I doing with my bag? I love to add cinnamon into my vacuum cleaner bag. Do you? Am I just slightly weird? It gives that wonderful cinnamon smell just very, very discreetly in the background. Lovely at this time of year. Time to dress my big old pine dresser. I love this piece of furniture. I like to use a big pot in the corner there because we have 
got such high ceilings and I need the height there. So into there, I'm going to add some twisted willow. I believe it's also known as corkscrew willow. We're really fortunate that we actually have the tree in our field. So I don't necessarily cut it from the tree, but whenever we've had storms, winds through, and I find it on the ground, I do pick up the stems and they keep on going for years. And they cost a fortune to buy from your local florist. So I know I am very, very lucky having that growing in the field. If you don't happen to have twisted willow growing in your garden, then any twigs at this time of year will make such a statement, particularly if you can get them into a big vase and then really pull them up to the ceiling almost. And I love to cover them in fairy lights, even at this early stage in the season. So these are on a tube to stop the tangling. And if you haven't got a tube, Use a lid, use a piece of cardboard, but don't just please push them in a drawer because they get so knotted up. This is the only set of lights that I'm going to be bringing out today, but there are going to be so many over the next few weeks. Now I am going to pop a lamp in this corner as well. I did a stone effect on an old lamp a few weeks back. So if you want to know how to do that technique, do check out the lamp makeover. Any of the videos that I mention, I will put details in the description box below. Now, what to put in this beautiful old jar? Yes, it's the pom-pom flowers, although I think they look like seed heads. If you haven't seen these before, they're in my Fall Deco DIY video, and I made them from wool that I found in a charity shop for just £10 for 30 plus balls. And I made these giant pom-poms, which I've not made pom-poms since I was a child. And I've got to say, it was the most fun. Now the twig stems are too long for this vase. So the loppers are out and I'm gonna cut them down to size. Now, before you start jumping on me saying, you're styling with four and it should be three, it should be five, it should be an odd number. Who makes up these rules, please? I say, go with what you like. I only have enough wool for four, so that's why I'm going with four. But do you know what? I think they look great in four. Three, I've got a gap. Four, it looks perfect. It's happy days and more wood for the fire. Now onto my big white dresser. So this is Mahogany Mo, or Big Mo as we affectionately call her. She was an 80 pound auction find, needed a huge amount of work to breathe life into the new gal. So I'm gonna dress her with some more stone effect pots that I've done and a collection of crystal decanters.
Now I'd like a pop of colour just at the front here. I'm still looking for neutrals, maybe slightly darker brown. So I'm going to take a stone pot outside and I've got some flowers here that I cut a few months ago from the garden. They were white originally and some grasses from the field and some teasels that I cut last winter. And I've had them all bundled up in the garage drying. I've got a few twigs that I took off the wreath that I revamped last week and I'm just going to arrange them in this vase. It's a great way of getting free autumnal winter displays just by bundling things up and hanging them in a cool dark place. Leave them for a few weeks and then you're good to style with them. Now time to dress the table. I'm actually itching, never mind to dress the table, but to repaint this table to give it some kind of makeover. So that might be coming soon. Who knows? Depends if I get the time. Now I'm using a Hessian runner down the middle, which I love to use because it just works, you know, the fabric, the colour with my style. The candelabras were originally silver and I've changed their colour with chalk paint and then I've used beige candles. Now, whilst I was outside, I pulled some more dead stuff out of the garage and did a display for the middle. These little drawers were recently found at a charity shop for just two pounds each. So they are now going to be used in my autumnal decorating pops of brown and I'm filling them with pine cones.
I love fabrics in every room and particularly this time of year, I want every room to feel cozy. So a sheepskin throw over the bench and a woolly blanket on this chair. This was actually an auction find so many houses ago and the more worn it gets, the more we love it. Right, I'm off to round up some hydrangeas. If you followed me for a while, you'll know I love my hydrangeas. And these are drying in the cloakroom, the downstairs toilet, the loo, which is quite a shock to visitors. I've been snipping these heads, these are mop heads, and they're beautiful, the colour on them, it's just dried back, you know, when they say when you cut them, that colour stays. It slightly fades, but I am definitely eager to style with these. And I'm going to put them in an old box that the auction house was throwing away. It had a rotten bottom, so I turned it upside down, took its bottom off, staple gun some chicken wire over it and trimmed it off with some twine and now I think it's going to be the perfect container for these hydrangea heads. We always have a tray in the kitchen and at this time of year I like to switch out the wooden ones for wicker. These candles were in the snug all the way through the summer so I thought I'd bring them in, finally get to use them. Now into this corner of the room. The lamp here I revamped several years ago. It was just a mixture of paint and builder's sand. It was very much when I was in my grey phase which I'm coming out of now can't quite decide what to do with it so I think it's probably best that I just leave it be for now until I've got a firm plan. The mirror, you can see me do that in one of the mirror revamp videos, again I'll link that below. And the wreath up here is actually one that I had years ago, a wreath base, and then I just wrapped a couple of lengths around it of faux greenery. And as I've got a few hydrangea heads left over, I think I'm going to add those in along with a few florist wire spirals. So I'm quite happy with how that turned out and now I'm going to start dressing this corner. So this little riser was in a bundle from auction and I just glued it all together and covered it in white wax. 
So I'm going to pop the lamp on there. And yes, that is rather high for me. So to light it, I'm either going to have to stand on a stool or get my six foot four husband to switch the lamp on for me. The tray was originally dark wood. I just sanded it and used white wax. The dish my daughter made when she was just 16. So that's one of my treasured ceramic pieces. And the pot is terracotta that I've lightened with wall filler. In this corner, I'm going to put a large plant stand. This is actually pine that I did a whitewash effect on. And I use these as candlesticks, candle holders. Um, I've got two. I normally have them on the dining room table, but I quite fancy a change. Moving things around your home breathes new life into areas. This big pot is normally in the middle of the window, popped it to the side and then I'm adding on a couple of chopping boards which I've bleached back with oil stain. Back to the big pot. Now it's a big pot and this corner is really quite high. It needs something of a statement in there. I was thinking about putting twigs in but actually I've come up with another plan. I've been rounding up my Annabelle hydrangeas that I've been drying and I love to drop a little bit of spray paint on them. Normally a bronze, a bit of pink. I've got a video on that just to highlight those beautiful colours. Mm -hmm. 